we have evaluated this before. It's negative oily macaroni constant. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. We are going to take a look at this integral today and it kind of looks like a lot of integrals we have talked about before. And we are going to dive right in. This has been posted somewhere in my comments, like two weeks ago or something. I didn't really get around filming it. And maybe the answer is satisfying for some people. Maybe the answer isn't too satisfying for some people. We are just going to dive right in and you are going to see what it's going to evaluate at the end. So this thing right here is really related to analytic number theory in some way. Okay, it's, it's just like one of those typical integrals that pop up in analytic number theory here and there. And the best option for us is to actually, well, make a Taylor series expansion out of our one over one plus e to the x. Okay, this is the thing I came up with. But you see, e to the x or negative e to the x in this case, between zero and infinity is not in our radius of convergence, okay? It has to be strictly between negative one and one for our geometric series to actually converge. What we are going to do here is some black mathematic. We are going to multiply top and bottom by e to the negative x, and then we are going to see where this is going to land us, okay? If we do this, we are going to have an integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative x, and then times the natural log of x, and also we have one over one plus e to the negative x integrate with respect to x. And if we plug zero into here, it's going to give us one. If we plug infinity into here, okay, let, let the limit go to infinity. We are exactly going to land at, well, um, one yet again. No, zero, zero, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. What I want to say is that this thing can be turned into a geometric series right here, okay? This thing right here is negative, negative e to the negative x, okay? And now we can just expand this into the corresponding Taylor series because it's in our radius of convergence. We need this. Now, we have an integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative x, natural log of x, and also our infinity boy, k being greater or equal to zero, of negative e to the negative x times k. Integrate with respect to x. Since we expand this into a Taylor series and everything is in the radius of convergence right here. Our geometric series converges absolutely and also uniformly, meaning we can interchange our integral with the summation right here, interchanging the limits, and then we can play around a little bit. So bring the e to the negative x into here, also negative one to the kth power. We can bring it to the outside. Okay, um, don't forget we have, um, I should have put it like this because we have negative one to the kth power. Okay. Let's interchange some stuff and let's bring some stuff to the outside, so negative one to the kth power, and then we can see where all of this is going. Leaving us with the infinity boy, k being greater or equal to zero, then negative one to the kth power. Also, we have our integral from zero to infinity of, okay, we have the natural log of x. Also, we have e to the negative k times x minus x, meaning we are going to have e to the negative x times k plus one integrated with respect to x. And now here comes in something really obvious. Let us get rid of this argument right here, okay? Let us substitute some stuff. Let's say um, let t be equal to, okay, x times k plus one, meaning if we differentiate both sides, we are going to be left with dx being nothing other than dt over k plus one. And now we can solve around a little bit. We have this one over k plus one, we can bring it to the front, it's independent when it comes to x. x is thus nothing other than t over k plus one, and so on. You know the deal, okay, it's just trivial stuff we are doing right here. So k being greater or equal to zero of negative one to the k power over k plus one. Also, we have an integral from zero to infinity of the natural log of, okay, t over k plus one, and also e to the negative t integrated with respect to t. Now, we can make use of natural log properties. That right here is a real argument, meaning natural log of a over b is natural log of a minus natural log of b. And then we can make use of the linearity of the integral under the condition that everything converges and break this up into two integrals, leaving us with 
this thing being nothing other than the integral from 0 to infinity of the natural log of t times e to the negative t integrated with respect to t and also minus the integral from 0 to infinity. Uh, yeah, by the way, the, the upper and lower bounds that we are going to get if we let x go to zero, okay, I, I didn't talk about that, then t also goes to zero if x goes to infinity, then t also goes to infinity because k plus one is just some finite constant, okay? Um, I, I hope you see where those up and low bounds came from. So natural log of k plus one times e to the negative t, integrate with respect to t. Now, this thing right here is just a constant, we can bring it to the front, meaning we can actually integrate this thing right here easily. Also, what is this thing right here? This thing right here is just the negative differential of the gamma function evaluated at one. We have evaluated this before, it's negative oily macaroni constant. Okay, it's, it's just popping up, it's just something that is here. Also, I want you guys to notice something completely different. If we have this thing times this thing right here, what is this exactly on the first part? Well, this right here, is nothing other than the Dirichlet eta function, negative the Dirichlet eta function. Uh, no, it's positive because we are starting at zero right here, so the Dirichlet eta function of um, one, right? This thing right here is just Dirichlet eta function of one, meaning it's going to vary to the natural log of two. Okay, I, I still have to think about everything. It's a lot of stuff right here, it's a lot of, um, stuff going on right here, summation and integration wise. Meaning we are going to have negative oily macaroni times the natural log of two. And also we have the second part, negative sum, our infinity boy, of negative one to the kth power over k plus one times the natural log of k plus one times the integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative t. If we were to integrate this, we would actually end up with negative e to the negative t from zero to infinity. On infinity, it's going to go to zero. Negative and negative becomes positive. It's going to be a one, okay? This cancels out quite nicely. And this right here is our answer, okay? <laughs> This is just something that exists because this second part right here is extremely complicated. This is a real, really, really hard bad boy when it comes to analytic number theory and, and proving what it's going to evaluate to. It's not trivial, I'm not going to cover it here because this thing right here would take ages to explain. It would take several hours or lectures in analytic number theory to actually explain where the value of this thing is going to come from. I can tell you this much, it's going to have some natural log of two squared in it and some oily macaroni constant, which is actually going to cancel out with this term right here. It's just some absolute monster. I can give you an idea what this right here is actually going to vary a to if we were to make a change of index k plus one being equal to n for example then this thing right here is actually going to vary a to our infinity boy starting at one of negative one to the k plus one power over k times the natural log of k if we were to take a look at our Dirichlet eta function of s this thing right here is actually nothing other than our sum k being greater or equal to one, of negative one to the k plus one power over k to the s power. If we were to differentiate this thing right here, eta prime of s, we are actually going to end up with, okay, k to the negative s is actually nothing other than e to the negative s times the natural log of k, meaning we can easily differentiate this to be k being greater or equal to one, our infinity boy, of negative one to the k power in this case, and then also over k to the s power is going to be preserved times the natural log of k. And now, if we let the limit go to one plus, to, uh, yeah, to one plus, we are actually going to end up with, if we multiply both sides by negative one, this thing right here in the limit, as s approaches one plus, or one from the right, Okay, we are going to end up with our negative Dirichlet eta function derivative evaluated at one, which is this thing right here. 
it's kind of complicated. It's 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 not kind of complicated. It's it's a really complicated thing. Okay, this thing right here is nothing other than negative the limit. Lim. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. As s, s approaches one plus of Dirichlet prime of s. Okay, this is just what it is, and it's extremely complicated. Um, that's why I'm not going to cover it here, but you can put it into Wolfram Alpha and it's going to spit out an actual answer. But if you are satisfied with this series representation and the oily macaroni constant, then here you go. This is kind of a cool answer, okay? It, it, it looks, kind of, looks kind of nice. And this is it. But before we actually end the video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Preen.org, for sponsoring this episode of Solving Integrals. <laughs> Brained is an online learning platform and app which focuses on active learning and problem solving. By working through their over 60 interactive courses in math, science and computer sciences, Brained can help you achieve your STEM goals in no time at all. This month Brained added brand new interactive content to their repertoire which are a lot of fun to solve and work through. I for myself really enjoy their interactive logic course at the moment which provides you with a great introductory lesson into formal logic. If this feels like it's something for you, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. With it you can get free access to Brilliant, which allows you to try out a lot of their content. Also the first 200 people to use their link get the chance to get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Try out Brilliant and support the channel this way. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. Don't forget to support the channel, you know how you can do that. And up until the next video, have flamble day. See ya!